everyone, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done an empties product video for such a long time, so I thought it was high time that I brought it back. And I have got a big old box here of products that I have used up recently. So I'm gonna basically just dig through this and um, show you what I've been using up. If any are products that have been sent to me by brands or PRs, I will put a little asterisk next to it in the description box below. Just so you know, full disclaimer and all that. But I will obviously give my honest opinions on all of these. So, let's dive in. And I'm going to start off with the biggest product, which is on the top. This is the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Dry Shampoo. And it's their Instant Fresh Dry Shampoo. Now, this is my favourite dry shampoo now. This is... Honestly, so, so good. So much so that I actually bought a six pack off of Amazon that I love it so much. So I've fully stocked up on this. I really like this because firstly, it is affordable. Secondly, it doesn't leave that white chalkiness that other dry shampoos do leave in your hair. This one doesn't leave that at all. But importantly, it also covers up the dirt, which I found that some other ones that don't leave the chalkiness, they actually don't make a difference to the dirt in my hair whereas this does a really really good job at covering up any oil or build up in my hair and just leaves it really really nice and fluffy and lovely and light i've put it in today because normally kind of after two days because my hair is quite heavy it can get quite flat so i pop some of this in just in along my center parting and it just gives it a really nice like refresh and then i'll use it again maybe on a third or fourth day just to, again give my hair a little bit more longevity when it comes to ha waiting to wash it. So yeah, as I said, this is my favorite dry shampoo. This is always gonna be a rebuy for me. So that is a positive one to start off today's empty products video. I've also got some minis in here as well because I try to use those up because otherwise they just accumulate so much. So this is the More Australia Hand and Body Wash in their Marshmallow scent. Now, I actually kind of stockpiled these because I got sent a couple of them because I thought I'm going to absolutely love the scent. And I do. It isn't an obvious marshmallow scent. It's just quite sweet. So it's not like if you're looking for like a true marshmallow scent, this isn't it. This is kind of a bit more of a grown up marshmallow scent. So it just totally depends on what type of person you are. If you are looking for more of a grown up marshmallow scent, then this is absolutely gorgeous so this is really runny as well it's almost like a water consistency it comes out really quickly so just a little like heads up there if you're looking at getting this i did love the smell i think that was probably the main thing why i enjoyed it i wasn't really overly fussed by how much it lathered at all because it didn't really lather because it was so runny so i don't know whether i would necessarily get the body wash again but i do know that they do other products in this scent so i probably end up having a little look of what those are if there was a candle i'd be all over that i then have a little mini of the urban vida daily soothing facial wash i've had a couple of these and i really really like them they're just a really like simple gel consistency cleanser it's just a really good staple really in your skincare closet if we're going down that line it's just really really nice it's very soothing on the skin it doesn't aggravate any eczema or irritation that you've got on your skin it's not really anything that it does that is kind of rant or rave about that i could talk about for hours it's just a really good cleanser so if you're in the market for just a good cleanser that will just keep you kind of your skin nice and clear and be able to take off makeup really nicely then this is really good i've used this in the mornings and i've really really enjoyed using that as like my morning cleanse in the evening i do tend to kind of go for more of like a balm or an oil or something like that if you're looking for like a gel cleanse then this is a really good option another a really really good gel cleanser option is probably one of my all-time favorites this is the loxitan aqua riotta water gel cleanser this whole range as i've talked about many 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 times before is just so nice and this one i just end up 
going back to it like it was just again a really good staple cleanser if my skin got aggravated at all from any products that my skin didn't like i came back to this and it sorted my skin out it calmed it down and also it didn't do anything crazy to it again so again it's just a good staple i would definitely buy this again this is a must buy i think for me but i'm gonna have a look and see what other cleansers need using up in my cleanser stash before i go and buy this but this is definitely something I will return to at some point in the future. Okay, I actually have another dry shampoo in here and I completely forgot that I had it. This is a mini of the Percy and Reese dry shampoo. This is also another favorite dry shampoo of mine. The only reason why I prefer the Schwarzkopf is because it's cheaper, whereas this is about 12 pounds a bottle, I think. I'm not entirely sure, obviously not for this mini size, but for like a normal 200 milliliter size. So it is a bit more on the pricey side. And I just find that the Schwarzkopf one does kind of exactly what this does. But I absolutely love the smell of Percy and Rue products. It's such a lovely smell. All their products sell, smell the same and it's just lovely. So sometimes I think if I want to treat at all, then I will splash out on this dry shampoo. So it's definitely not like a, I won't buy this again. It's just, I've got a cheaper option that is working for me really, really well. So as I said about the got to be Schwarzkopf one, again, this doesn't leave any kind of chalky marks in your hair, but it does a really, really good job at covering up the dirt. So again, this is probably one that I would count as like my all time favorite dry shampoo. Now with this next one, I'm not actually sure what the brand is because when I've Googled it before, it's come up when I put both of the names that are on this, it's come up with both of them. So I don't really know what it is. So on the back it says ME Skin Lab Paris. I'm guessing that is the brand. And I think the product is called Cleanser 27. But if you just type in Cleanser 27, this will normally come up. So this is a sample size and I actually have two of these. Where's the other one gone? I can't find it now. I'll probably come across it in a minute. This is definitely more of a kind of balm consistency. So I was using this in the evenings and it was just such a dream to take off my makeup. And the really, really cool thing as well is, is that it's got these very, very soft, scrubby texture that you come across every so often. It's not like a consistent texture. It's quite strange, but it is so nice. So again, if you've got sensitive skin, you don't like a harsh scrub, then this is actually a really really good alternative because it does do a bit of exfoliation but not without really scrubbing the skin raw. At first I thought it was because the product had gone off and I was like finding these like little bunched up bits in the formula and then I realized it was actually part of the formula. <laughs> so don't be scared off by that. I would probably definitely buy this again. It is just such a lovely consistency and it melts into the skin and it just kind of coats it in this kind of balmy oil consistency and it just literally melts the makeup off and i do like the fact as well that when you do take it off there isn't any kind of residue left over but again it's not stripped your skin it's just a gorgeous cleanser this is going to be really really nice for as we're going into more of the winter months as well and your skin needs a little bit more hydration in the evenings so this is definitely a favorite of mine the next product is a hand cream and i actually bought this after having a product in the same fragrance so i actually bought this purely for the fragrance so this is the l'occitane herbe hand cream the herbe range and scent is my all-time favorite from L'Occitane. I just adore the smell. It's quite florally, it's not overly sweet. I think it smells like if you walk into like a, like a, a flower shop or into like a part of Kew Gardens where it's a greenhouse and it's all full of flowers. It's just that scent. It's like this gorgeous mix of all different types of flowers. It's lovely. And I think as well, again, L'Occitane hand creams are my favorite hand creams. They're just so moisturizing. They are a bit more on the pricey side, but I do think they are worth it. And if you're just going to get like a 30 milliliter, which will normally last me a couple of months if I'm not using it kind of back to back, if I'm just having it in my handbag just for times when my hands are really, really dry, then um, these usually last me a couple of months. And this kind of size costs, I think about seven pounds, which is not ridiculous. The bigger sizes are obviously more cost effective. I just wanted to get a little sample. And yeah, again, I'll probably definitely, I'll definitely get L'Occitane hand creams anyway, because as I said, they're my favorite hand creams. But also as well, I will be definitely be getting some more in this Herbe scent. Next is a product that I don't know whether you can actually still get in the UK because you can get other versions of this in the range but I don't I've not been able to find this one in particular so this is the it's skin power 10 formula 
and this is the VC Effector. So this has basically got vitamin C in it and it's a serum and it is just so lovely on the skin. It is kind of like a, it's not really like a, it's like a gel, but it's also not like a gel. It's a bit more of like a watery consistency. It's really lovely. It really works well with my skin in particular. And as well, I just find that it kind of, kind of helps perk up the skin as well. So in the mornings, I will use this because I find that vitamin C works better for me in the mornings when I apply it on my skin. And it just as well is a nice kind of pick me up for my face before I get going in the day. I'll try and find this, but I've not been able to find this in the past when I've been trying to find links for it. I think I actually bought this from, I got sent this originally and then I re-bought it from Amazon. So I don't know. I'll try and find some links. Also price wise as well, it is really affordable. I think it's about 11 pounds. So for a really good serum, that is that sort of price. It is an absolute steal. Next we have another hair product and this is by Label M. So I remember when I used to go to fashion week, these always used to be under the chairs on the front row. Just I just remember that. That's kind of how I associate label M. So this is their protein spray, which basically protects your hair against UV light and rays. And also as well, it is really, really good at helping your hair keep the moisture in it. So I actually ended up using this on my hair after I had kind of dried it or it had kind of air dried and I just kind of gave this a quick spritz through my hair afterwards just as like a after treatment and it was just really really nice I mean that's the thing I, I didn't see any drastic changes in how my hair kept moisture so it wasn't like life-changing but again it's just a really nice spray um just to kind of keep your hair nice and healthy I think especially as well if you're going on holiday and your hair is going to be really dry and obviously you're going to be outside more then I think this might be quite a good product to bring with you. I think I would definitely like to try this product in that sort of setting because I was just using it in the UK where it's not exactly sunny and warm like abroad. But um, yeah, so I think I would probably try this again, but I would take it away with me and in this lovely little travel size as well because it's 50 millilitres. Next we have another cleanser and this time it's from Lush. This is their Ultra Plant Cleanser. So this is the vegan version of the Ultra Bland Cleanser which they also have. And I really, really enjoyed this. Out of the two as well, this was probably my favorite. It smells amazing. It's got orange blossom water in it. And what else has it got in? Agave syrup, uh, jojoba oil, and sunflower wax. And yeah, so it's really, really gentle on your skin. Basically the kind of ultra range, it's not really range, but there's a couple of products called ultra and then something are really really good if you've got sensitive skin like me so i was trying these out to see whether they were really nice for my skin and whether they actually did a good job this definitely is more of a kind of it's kind of difficult to de describe because it wasn't really like a balm like it wasn't like a thick balm but when so when you put your finger into it like the consistency kind of crumbled underneath your fingertips i can't really describe it more than that really so it's kind of more like a balm slash oil not really a gel <laughs> but like the consistency of a gel so i don't know it's just quite a unique formula but it was lovely on the skin it melted into it and melted off my makeup but also as well it kind of left a really nice kind of moisturizing layer on top which i actually really really liked so i think for me as well i actually use this through the kind of spring months where my skin was a little bit drier my skin absolutely loved this so I would definitely buy this again. I really, really like this cleanser. And I think as well, definitely for the colder months that are coming up, I think this will appreciate the kind of oily consistency of this. Next, we have my all-time favorite lip balm. So this is a little mini of the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. I have re-bought this already. This is an absolute staple for me. It's just fantastic at moisturizing my lips. I, my lips kind of went off Vaseline and then I went through a stage of having no lip balm that worked and then I dug this out and gave this a go. This is a definite rebuy for me. I can't really say anything more than that. It just works really, really well for moisturising my lips. Next I have a perfume which took me ages to use up. It's actually quite embarrassing. So this is the Diesel Tattoo Loverdose fragrance. So I actually won this like 
I'm talking years ago. It was a long time ago. And this is really, really nice. I found this nice as like an evening scent. It's got some florally sweet scents, but it's also got some kind of nice base notes to it as well, which kind of make it more evening-y. I don't know whether I'd necessarily buy it again because I've got a lot of perfume um, that I need to use up. But this is a really, really nice one. And it also holds a lot of nice memories for me as well. But it's not like my perfume, which I associate with myself. I have other perfumes that are to kind of fill that hole. This one's quite a boring one, but I thought I'd include it anyway because it is an empty. This is the Blink Contacts Eye Drops. These are the eye drops that I use with my contact lenses just basically because I have very dry eyes and I need to have drops in my eyes before I put my contacts in. Next, I have a product that, again, I'm not sure you can get anymore, but I'm gonna include it anyway. So this is the Natural World Coconut Water. So I use this as a hair oil. This is so nice on the hair. It just leaves it so smooth. I find just generally that like coconut water and like macadamia oil and things like that work really, really well on my hair. It just leaves it so lovely and smooth. And this was no exception. This was really, really great as well. I find that these are really great for travel because they hold a fair bit in, but they're only about 25 milliliters. So when I go away, I normally have kind of these ones in my stash. I've got a few of these left as well. They take me quite a while to get through. You can apply this to wet hair, which I normally do, or to dry hair just to give it a bit of extra shine. But I find that if I apply it after, it kind of weighs down the hair a little bit. So I normally will put this on after I've towel dried my hair and then my hair will either be blown dry or it will be air dried. So um, I just use that kind of an after wash treatment. Oh, I've got another dry shampoo in here. I obviously used up a lot of dry shampoo recently. This is the Lee Stafford dry shampoo. I wasn't a huge fan of this, to be honest with you. I love Lee Stafford products in general, but with this one, I wasn't really impressed. I think I've got other favorite dry shampoos which I prefer. I think for me, I just found this didn't actually get rid of the oil as much as I wanted it to. So um, yeah, that's probably not gonna be a repurchase for me. Okay, I got a couple more products. So I've also got a little mini of the Crabtree and Evelyn, Evelyn Rose face foam. This was okay. I wasn't blown away by it. To be honest as well, I'm not a huge fan of face foams. So I don't think this was something I was gonna necessarily like anyway. I did, however, like the fragrance because it's a rosy fragrance and it's a true rose, which is so nice. I don't like the kind of artificial rose scents. This smells like a rose and it's how it should smell. <laughs> but I just wasn't a fan of the foam consistency. So if they made this kind of in a gel or a balm or an oil or something like that, I'd be all over it. And last but not least, I have a tiny weeny little sample of the Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate. I really, really liked this. It's such a shame that it was such a small little sample, but I really, really enjoyed it. So I think I found as well that with this one, it was almost like quite a light oil. It wasn't like a traditional oil. I don't know how that really makes sense. I found that this was so nice to use in the evenings in the summer because I was still getting a lot of moisture in my skin, but I didn't feel like it was overly oily, especially when there were kind of hotter evenings and during the night as well. Like I didn't feel like I was just like caked in product. This just was able to moisturize my skin, but was light enough to work in the summer. I'd be interested to see what this would be like more in the winter and like the cold, cooler months, but I think this would work better for summer anyway. So I would definitely look at repurchasing this um, because is such a lovely product. There you go, those were my empty products that I've accumulated over the past couple of months. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I missed doing these videos, but trying to remember to actually save empty products rather than just chucking them away after I've used them. It was actually quite hard to remember, so I dedicated myself, I found the box, and I made sure that I actually put some products aside. Do let me know if you do want to see some more empty products videos because I will bring them back if you guys like them. Do let me know if you did in the comment section below. Like this video if you enjoyed it and do subscribe if you are new. I do some beauty videos alongside acting, fashion and travel as well. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!